Howdy friends and neighbors, Howard Rains and Trisha Spencer here to talk to you a little bit today about the Missouri Rules, referred to also as the Old Time Accompaniment Pattern, the name given by R.P. Christensen, the author of The Fiddler's Repertory, a fantastic repository of Missouri and Midwest fiddle tunes. Sometimes we refer to it by the acronym OTAP, largely because we are in Kansas and not Missouri. Now, it's a template on which you can overlay most Midwest tunes, actually most fiddle tunes in general, and you just sort of can move some of the chords around and make it fit with almost anything, but this template fits with a lot of tunes. So hopefully you can join in while we play this chord progression. We're going to be in the key of G. What we find sometimes is um, a lot of a lot of times people find this little four chord very elusive when we are jamming with folks. Like they're just not sure where to insert it. So we wrote out this chart to let you know that once you finish this first eight beat phrase, you just have these two beat sections of a one, four, five, back to one, and that rolls you back into uh, the first part of the phrase again. So kind of get this kind of honed in. Like uh, those of us who have grown with this four chord inserted here, uh, it almost, you almost have to have it. If you haven't played with the four chord there, it's going to feel forced for a while, but eventually it will feel good. And here's how it goes. One, two, three, four. That's the basic chord pattern with no runs, or at least minimal. Tried to avoid those just to keep it simple. Trish is going to play the old fiddle tune Long John now from Bob Walters from Nebraska. And it, so you can hear the chord pattern in the context of a tune. Before we do that, can we perhaps do this with two guitars uh, with the bass runs, as uh, my fiddle mentor Amos Chase like to have when he was having guitar accompaniment. Um, his uh, two guitar players were Eldon Ray and Glenn Woolaway for many years, and part of that guitar sound is really what both of us are looking for when we have two guitar players. We like the sound of the bass runs playing simultaneously. It's a little different than you might hear in other regional contexts where some one guitar player might be uncapoed and the other capoed. Mm -hmm. Uh, the way that Amos preferred to have it was to have them both playing bass runs in unison, uncapoed. And so we're going to demonstrate a little bit of that for you right now. We call it the Kansas headphones. One, two, three. <laughs> there we've put the little Texas scoot in there with the half step walk up and I might demonstrate that a little more in depth on another video but right now Trish is going to play the old tune long john for you so you can hear this chord progression in the context of a tune. We're going to do more of these videos with the old time accompaniment pattern in every key and uh, this was just kind of an introductory video so if you like this one Follow our page, find us on um, YouTube as well as uh, Patreon because we're putting these out. And I think the next one we're going to do with our kids 
And we're just going to play the same tune over and over so that you can hone in this thumb tap. <laughs> And that's how you do it.